Hello everyone, welcome back to the series on Indian Mathematics, Ganita Ratna Kosha. We will continue looking at the uh, division method by flag division. Uh, before we do that, let us go back and revisit our understanding of what a quotient and remainder are. For example, if I was dividing 13 by 3, usually I write 4 as the quotient and remainder as 1 because this gives me 3 into 4 12 plus 1 as 13. But I can also write it as 3 as take 3 as quotient and remainder as 4 because this will also give me 3 times 3 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. Similarly, I could also write it as 2 quotient as 2 remainder 7 because this also gives me 3 into 2 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. In the same way, I can also take a larger quotient 5 with remainder being negative minus 2 because this also gives me 3 into 5 15 minus 2 is equal to 13. Now we are usually used to using this in our day to day arithmetic but these forms are also mathematically correct because they also give me the number 13. <coughs> so let us keep this in mind as we work out a few examples. For example, I was let us say we are dividing 9, 2, 0, 3 by 62. One flag digit, one digit from the right is the remainder line. So I start dividing 9 by 6, 6 ones are 6, carry 3, remainder 3 as 30 and then I adjust 2 into 1 minus 2, so this becomes 30. Now if I take 5 as the quotient here, 6 5s are 30, then carry forward is 0 and the adjustment will be 2 into 5 10 and this becomes minus 10. So I get the adjusted dividend as a negative quantity. So in order to avoid this negative quantity, I will ignore this for a moment, go back to the previous step and reduce the quotient to 4. So when I reduce the quotient, 6 4 is a 24, 30 minus 24 is 6. So the remainder is 6, it is carried forward as 60 and then the adjustment is 2 into 4 minus 8. So it becomes 52. Now the dividend is positive. Now I divide 52 by 6, that is 6. 8s are 48, carry forward 4 as 40 to the next digit and then adjustment of minus 16, 2 into 8, so 43 minus 16 is 27. So the quotient of this division is 148 and the remainder is 27. So we just need to keep in mind that whenever we hit a negative dividend, adjusted dividend along the process. We go back one step, reduce the quotient by 1 if necessary 2 numbers or 3 numbers so that the quotient becomes positive, so that the dividend becomes positive and continue. One more example just to make the process clear. So if I was dividing 4, 7, 1, 2, 5 by 45, one flag digit one digit from the right is the remainder line. So I start dividing for ones are 4, no carry forward, adjustment is 5 into 1, minus 5 that is 2, so 4 zeros are 0 and 2 carry forward as 20, adjustment is 5 into 0, 0, 5 into 0 becomes 0, so this is 21, so 4 5s are 20, then carry forward will be 1 as 10 to the next place and 5 5s are 25. Again I will have a 12 minus 25, I will get a negative dividend. So I avoid this for a second, then go back to the previous step, reduce the quotient by 1. So 4 4s are 16, so the carry forward is 5, that is 50 to the next uh, digit and the adjustment is 5 into 4, 20. So this becomes positive, 32. So 4 8 is a 32, if I take 4 8 is a 32, no carry forward, 
and then I'll have the same problem 5 into 8 is minus 40. So this will be negative. So again I ignore this come back to the previous step make reduce it 1 by 1 4 7 the 28. So now carry forward 40 the remainder is 4 and then carry it forward as 40 to the next step and then adjustment is 5 7 5 into 7 35. So 45 minus 35 is 10 so the positive reminder. So quotient is 1 0 4 7 and reminder is 10. So that is how we go back one step whenever we land in a problem of a negative dividend and then uh, reduce the quotient by one or two digits and, and proceed. Let us do one last example where we are supposed to calculate decimals. What if we land up in a problem after the remainder line? So 67. Yeah, this is the remainder line. So after this line are the decimals. So I start dividing 6, 9, 0, 54. Then 1 is carried forward as 10. 7 into 9 is minus 63. So 15 minus 63 is negative. So in order to avoid that, I ignore this for a moment. Reduce this to by 1 to 8. So 6, 8 are 48. 55 minus 48 is 7. So 7 is carried forward as 70 and then 7 into 8 is minus 56. So the adjusted dividend is 19 here. Now since I want decimals, I will start dividing 19 by 6. So I make it 3, I assume there is a 0 here. Now 6 3s are 18 and then I carry forward 1 as 10 and the adjustment is minus 21. Again I land ran into a negative dividend. So I ignore this, come back, reduce it by 1. So 6 2s are 12. So then the carry forward is 70. Then 7 2s are 14. So 70 minus 14 is 56. So 6 9s are 54, carry forward 20 and then the division continues. So the answer in decimals is 8.29. So this is how we adjust the uh, quotients so that we get positive dividends along the way and complete our division. I have given some examples to uh, some problems to solve in the in the notes section as usual. Please do try them and you will also find the solutions on the bharatnyan.com website. Uh, please do not hesitate to write to me if you need any clarifications or if you have suggestions. Thank you.